Hey guys, happy Sunday. You know, I've been thinking, I have a question for you. Do you know that we are slaves? Hmm, what's a slave? Well, a slave is someone that is in bondage to someone or something else, right? A slave really has no power and no ability to free themselves from being in slavery. So how are we like slaves? It's a good question. Let's talk about that more in a minute. But first, you'll remember last week, Miss Lisa was teaching us about Moses. Remember Moses? He was the baby that was raised by the princess of Egypt and brought up in the palace. And we're going to talk more about him today. So let me set the scene for you. God's special people called the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. They're in bondage to Pharaoh with no hope and no power to set themselves free. Moses, meanwhile, has left the palace and he's living in Midian with his wife and his wife's family. And on this particular day, he's doing something very typical for people in that time to do. He is tending his family's sheep. And he just happens to catch something in the corner of his eye and he looks over and there's a bush. It's on fire. But you know what's weird? Is it's not burning up. And so he goes to have a closer look. And out of the bush comes a booming voice. Moses, it says. Uh, here I am. And the voice says, Moses, this is God. I have seen the affliction of my people. I hear their cries. I know everything that they're going through and the hardships that they have being slaves in Egypt. I am going to come down and I'm going to lead them to freedom. And Moses, I've chosen you to actually lead the people to a place of freedom. Wait a minute, me? Who am I, God, to lead your people? And God says, Moses, don't be afraid. I'll be with you. Moses starts thinking and like, wait a minute. When I go to the people and they ask me who you are and what your name is, what am I supposed to say? God said, Moses, you tell them, I am sent you to them. And remind them of everything that I just said to you, that I see and I hear and I know and I understand. And I promise to break them free from their, from their slavery and lead them to a place of life. And oh, by the way, Moses, you will also need to tell Pharaoh to set my people free. Uh-oh. So now Moses is getting a little nervous. That's a pretty big task. But God does something really kind. He displays his power to Moses through miracles right there in and through Moses. And yet still, even after everything God said, the miracles that God did, Moses goes, oh, Lord, I can't speak well. My tongue is going to get all twisted up in my mouth. I, uh, 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 you picked the wrong man. I'm the wrong person. Pick somebody else. What did Moses do, guys? Moses looked inward. He did not remember. He didn't look to God. He paid more attention to himself than to God. You know, God was angry with that. And long story short, God actually sent Moses and his brother Aaron to go talk to the people and to Pharaoh. But we'll learn more about that another time. So back to this idea of slaves. You know, just like the Israelites were slaves to Pharaoh, they couldn't break themselves free. You and I were slaves to sin. Right? We struggle with our sin. And God promised the Israelites that he would come down to set them free. You know what? So God did for us in Jesus. God came down. And when Jesus died on the cross as a sacrifice for our sins, he offered us a way of freedom to be our chains to sin, to be broken. So how does that work? Right? If we recognize that we are slaves to sin, that we've never been set free, or even if we have but we still struggle with sin, we go to Jesus, right? And we ask him to be our savior and our deliverer. Now, here's a question for you too. Even when you're free from your sin, who do you pay more attention to? Are you like Moses and you turn yourself and you pay more attention to yourself? I know I do sometimes. Or do you turn to God and pay more attention to God? We all struggle with that, don't we? Well, I want you to remember something from the Bible today. 
Just like God called Moses, God knows you by name. He sees you, he hears you, he knows you, and he is the one who can free you from your sin. Oh, Jesus, I pray that, I thank you, first off, that you are the one who delivers us from our sin. I pray that all of these children watching will know that you can free them too. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, real quick, four challenges for the week. Number one, read Exodus 3 and 4 for yourself or have somebody read it to you. Two, pay attention to all the things God says about himself in those, in those chapters of the Bible. Number three, notice the miracles that God does to show Moses who he is. Number four, think on all those things this week so that you can pay more attention to God than to yourself. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.